Hi there, I'm Ross Woodfield. Welcome to Blackhawk Global's Daily Market Update. Starting off in the US today, where the dollar was under considerable pressure thanks to some very disappointing economic data. US core durable goods orders fell by a staggering negative 5% month on month. US unemployment claims also added to the dollar weakness as they ticked higher from 278k to 285k. The poor results are adding to the concern that the US economy is potentially heading towards a recession. Keep an eye on the upcoming non-farm payrolls this week as they could hint at this. And turning now to crude oil where the commodity had a torrid few days as volatility takes hold. Early in the week WTI crude prices soared to around the $32.73 level, uh, a barrel level, on a rumour emanating from Russia that had OPEC producers agreeing upon a 5% production cut. The turn, the, uh, this turned out to be untrue and the commodity subsequently slumped in early trading today. Also adding to the selling was news out of Cushing advising that the facility was currently fully leased and nearing capacity. Subsequently expect crude prices to be under pressure in the coming days. Moving on now to the Yuan and the war of words kept going as the PBOC again slashed the reference rate to 6.5314. Global hedge funds are lining up to short the currency, with the majority of analysts expecting a sharp devaluation from the central bank in light of the falling US dollar. In addition, the central bank advised that they plan to inject 150 billion yuan over the next few weeks through open market operations, so expect plenty of variability in the reference rates. And finally today our analyst pick is the dollar-yen pair. The US dollar has been under considerable pressure recently and that has seen the pair fall over, over 450 pips from the recent high. The pair now sits on some firm support and is likely to act as a swing point for a retracement. Watch for volatility on the NFP result. And that's all we have time for today. For Blackwell Global, I'm Ross Woodfield. Thanks for watching.